morning and welcome to the BNS channel. My name is Edie Ann and I just have a very short message that I want to share with you today. Um, somebody tagged me in a post and it really made me internalize a message that I've been trying to share myself to you guys um, since the beginning of 2018. And I just feel like it's so important for us to realize how powerful our words and our gestures are. And I'm gonna, I, I need to read her, um, her picture. Um, and then I wanna kinda give you a message after. You might think you don't matter in this world, but because of you, someone has a favorite mug to drink their tea out of each morning that you bought them. Someone hears a song on the radio and it reminds them of you. Someone has read a book you recommended to them and gotten lost in its pages. Someone's remembered a joke you told them and smiled to themselves on the bus. Someone's tried on a top and felt beautiful because you complimented them on it. Someone uh, has a memory that makes them grin that involves you. Someone now likes themselves just a little bit more because you made a passing comment that made them feel good Never think you don't have an impact. Your fingerprints can't be wiped away from the little marks of kindness that you've left behind. You've heard me at the end of most of my videos in 2018 where I say go and pay it forward with kindness. This is a perfect example of what that means to me and how I wish I could share that message with you guys. We don't understand that pretty much all of us go through some kind of negative self-talk. Um, we might not feel beautiful that day. We might not feel, um, you know, we may feel stupid. We may feel unworthy. Um, we could potentially feel ashamed. And so many of us um, at some point feel those non-loving ways. And we all know that love must begin with self-love because it is impossible for us to give love if we don't love ourselves first, correct? And we have these negative conversations with ourselves. We are too heavy, we're too thin, we're too short, we're too, too, too tall, and we have this negative image of ourselves, right? We all go through it. We all feel that, some more than others. And for us to have the power to have a glimpse of sunlight sprayed onto somebody, and what I can see is, is the, the, the little firefly um, sparkles that come from a fairy with her fairy dust, how that sprinkles. Um, that's, that's up to us to be that little fairy that is sprinkling dust of goodness all over this world. And I know that was kind of a, a bizarre, um, I'm just trying to think of how I can envision what that would look like. Um, when you see somebody that is, is looking sad, put your arm around them. I don't care if you know them or not. Put your arm around them and say, I hope you have a better day. You don't need to ask what's wrong. You don't need to do anything. I remember a situation, I was at an airport one day and we were coming through security and um, it was busy. There were a lot of people in line. There were a lot of people that were getting um, pulled aside so that their bags could be gone through. And at the very end after I had gone through security, you know how they have those benches that are kind of sitting there and it's for people to put their shoes back on, get their bags back together and that sort of thing. And there was a young lady there in tears. She was by herself. She had her stuff together. She was minding her own business, she was not making eye contact with people. And I went up to her and I put my arm around her and I said, I hope you have a better day. And I left. And I know that if that had been me and I was in that situation, maybe she knew she missed her plane, maybe she 
um, had something taken out of her bag that was liquid that she needed or cherished or something. Those things happen to us, right, in the airports. Um, if I had been sitting on that bench in tears and somebody just randomly put their arm around me and said, it's going to be a better day. The shift that I would have felt in that moment could have been astronomical. And I can only hope that my split second attention and sharing of caring, sharing of love, turned her day around. Um, it's these little moments that we can provide other people, a smile to somebody who seems down or that is smiling and, and being very cheerful and you, you return that. You know, those are the types of things that are embedded in our brain, in our emotional um, lockbox, if you want to call it, because emotion plus thought equals action, right? And so when we can add the emotion and tweak it a little bit so that it's, it's an uplifting emotion, you have no idea the things that you could do to change somebody's day. Giving them a compliment, um, letting them cut the line in front of you. Um, you know, just doing, I have this tendency now in my pay it forward mindset that when I do groceries, it's, it's hard for me I want to get out of I want to get out of there before people see the kindness that I've done. I just I don't want the attention from it, um, and so it's really hard if somebody's in line and you want to pay for somebody's groceries, whether they're in front of you or behind you. It's hard to do that without them knowing that it's you doing it. So what I've started doing is I'll kind of look at the person's uh, grocery list behind me or what they have on the belt in in their basket, um, and I'll kind of guesstimate what I think it's gonna cost them and I buy a gift card and I leave it with the register uh, clerk, the cashier, and I'll tell her to use that card on the next person. Um, and it usually goes over so well with the cashier. The cashier usually says things like, oh, what a, what a good heart, thank you for doing that and da 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 da. And so by the time the car, and, and a lot of times I'll get asked, do you want me to present it to them before or after? And I always say after. When you've rung up everything and you ask them for your total, you can tell them that the person ahead of them or that this is a random gift card. So there's just so many ways that we can pay it forward with kindness in this world. And I wish that we all took a moment every day to do just one act of kindness, just one thing that could totally change somebody's world that day. Who knows, you know? What you do or say could potentially change that person's life. How wonderful would that be? And in this world, we need a little more kindness. So I'm going to implore you to go and pay it forward with kindness. Love you guys. <laughs>